Hey there, everybody. This is Ira. Welcome back to Heavens of Sorcery, the upcoming Skyblock Magic mod pack from the Phoenix Lodge. Upcoming, friends. This is not out yet. If this is your first uh, one of these videos that you're watching, this game is not out yet. It is still in development. Only the first few chapters are done, but I have been given permission to give you a sneak peek. Isn't that exciting? Okay. I have been busy since last time. Let me get my UI back up here. Um, I rebuilt. I, I've been reorganizing stuff, making it pretty. This is just a tree here that I don't intend to cut down. It's just for decoration. I got my berry bushes. I got my little farming area over here, which I thought was nice. And here is my uh, my cobble generator. Boop. It all goes down into this chest, which is awesome. Um, I've got my magic stuff here, my cauldron, my water. I've got the grindstone, and this is where we can make redstone. This apple tree, by the way, this apple tree, it does grow apples. How awesome is this? When they get red, I don't think they fall on their own, like this stuff does from the other trees, but once they get red, you can right-click them, and they fall off a tree, and you can pick them up. I love it. I think apples are needed for something as well. Um... We left off, I had just made this ritual table. Why is this ritual table all locked up? Because I've been doing some rituals. You might notice I got a couple of bones and an arrow, and I did not have those before. How did I get those? With a ritual, of course. So I put them in here because even though I'm fully kitted out in diamond, I'm just, I'm not a big combat person, and I like to do things safely when I can. So, put four bones and an amethyst in here. We can cast a spell, which will summon Awesome. Summons a skeleton. Uh, of course, the skeleton is out in the daylight now, so it's not going to last long. And we can... Oh, this is a weird thing with this pack, and I honestly do not understand why. There must be a mod that, that changes the way items work, but you have to be on the same level as an item to pick it up now. So there's that. What is this? This is new Graves Dust. What can I do with Graves Dust? I can build a vo voodoo poppet. A strange tablet, a strange scroll, an impregnated diamond, interesting, fishing rod of misadventure, <laughs> dust of vanishing, this is all very cool stuff, I don't know what any of this stuff is, but it looks like some fun we'll be able to have later, so I'm gonna put this stuff in my magic chest here, and alright, uh, so why am I killing skeletons, well I need the bones, I need the bones, I think I've got this in here. Uh, nope, second chapter. We're in the second chapter now. I think it is creating company. Yeah. Um, I need beef and a leather, which means I need a couple of cows. And to summon cows, I need a bone, a sapphire, and a raw beef. Now, to get the bones, you conjure a skeleton. Did that already. To get the beef, we need devil dust, bone shard, and rotten flesh. Can you see the problem, my friends? Do you see the problem with this? I don't have any rotten flesh. Where would I get rotten flesh from? Um, I think I'm gonna have to go and fight some pigs for rotten flesh. I'm not super excited about it. Because the nether is extra scary, especially since I, uh, I had that very scary spawn right in another fortress. Um, if we go to, for rotten, rotten flesh, can we, recipes for rotten flesh, block of flesh, definitely don't have one of those. Nope. Mob drops, so zombie villager, zombie, zombie horse, and zombie pigmen, and husk. And unfortunately, mobs don't spawn in the overworld. So I cannot just just get a, a, a zombie in the overworld like you normally would be able to in a skyblock. I think I'm going to have to go and kill zombie pigmen, which is absolutely terrifying for me. So I'm going to put my magic stuff away. Keeping in mind, of course, when you kill a zombie pigman, let's just... Get all these down. I don't know if I should just use these or what. I don't know. Like I, I was, wait, wasn't I keeping the food in here too? Yeah, there's apples in there. Okay, so I have this devil dust. That's easy, but it's the rotten flesh that is tricky. So I'm going to put on my shield. Oh, I got one torch. That's all right. I don't think I really need the torch. Um, let's go to the nether. I'm going to try and be brave and try to remember that it's just a game. <laughs> it's just a game. And dying in the game, you don't die in real life. However, I would lose all my really sweet, awesome, uh... Oh, hello! Hi there! Can you... Alright, well, if you're gonna make it super easy on me... Really? You're in the portal, though. Are you gonna go through the portal? Uh-oh. Can you not see me through the portal? Ah! Die! Yes! 
Did I get a rotten flesh? Did it go through the portal? It dropped something. I bet it went through the portal. Of course, now if I go back in there, every single zombie pigman is going to be angry at me. There's nothing... Oh, okay, we got a zombie brain and another grave stuff. So we did not get... We need some food. Uh, we did not get a rotten flesh. So that means I'm going to have to actually go back. <laughs> I'm going to have to actually go back in there and, like, actually... Uh, seek out and fight some... There we go, give me some berries. I'm just gonna take some berries to eat. Because they're easy. Look at all these beautiful bushes. I love, I love my beautiful farm area. I love when I can, like, make things aesthetically pleasing. I also redid this area. Built my... My crushing tub. I think it looks nice. Okay, um... Eat berries. Go back through portal, and... I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to go out where all the pigmen are now going to be angry with me. <laughs> oh, mistakes may have been made. Let's see what I can do. It's just a game. I read it's just a game. Don't be scared. There's a pigman right there. Are they... Maybe they won't be angry with me because they didn't actually see me attack their friend there. Also, they can't get to me. Hey, buddy. Hey. How you doing? Um, I don't have a ranged weapon. I haven't gotten a skeleton to drop a bow yet. It doesn't seem like there's any other... Ooh, it's a flaming bat. It doesn't seem like there's any other pigment around. This might actually be reasonably safe. So just like, uh... Just the two of you? Whoops. <laughs> okay. Just, just the one. Come on through. There we go. Alright, uh, there is somebody trying to attack me. I did not get a rotten flesh. Listen, piggy friends. Give me that stone. Uh, this is an issue. I got a gold nugget. I don't want to have to go out hunting a whole ton of pigmen because I'm just in a real dangerous spot here. What was that? Okay, what was that? Did I just see something moving up here? Oh, I just see my portal. I'm just, I'm just all on edge. What was that? What was that sound? <laughs> oh my gosh. See, I really wish I wasn't right here. I guess maybe I can go across the bridge and go down this way and find some pigmen. The problem is, that's gonna leave me really exposed, just in general. Because they're... Also, hold on, let me get into a slightly sheltered spot here. Okay, we're good. Um... J for journey map. I want to change the options. Reticle heading. My heading. No, that's not the one. We're gonna we're gonna make this happen. It's not reticle heading. It's map heading. My heading. Close. We did it. Whoops. Don't reset. No. Oh no. <laughs> okay, we're all set. There we go. Okay, I need to see what's ahead of me. That is much more helpful. Um, I think... Yeah, this way. I came down this way before and I went mining. And I think I'll probably find plenty of pigmen down here. Problem is, again, I'll be really exposed. But there were plenty of pigmen down here last time. I don't know, maybe... Oh wait, I see there's a pigmen up there. Oh, there's a... That's the thing is there's a lot of pigmen up there. I can just like, maybe if I just kind of, are they going to be mad at me, actually, from before? I don't remember the rules of pigmen, like how long do they stay mad? And do they have to see you commit murder or attack one of their friends? Or do they just sort of psychically know? I just want to like, no, don't, don't go anywhere. <laughs> All you experienced players are just like, just kill them. You'll be fine. You're wearing full diamond armor. How many of them are there here? One, two, three, four? Is that, there's four total? Yeah, I think so. And then I think if you wait long enough, all the rest of the pigmen in the world will, will chill out and not be mad at you anymore, right? Is that how it works? I'm not sure. I do know that they will all run after me now. Oh man, I am not doing a good job of running here. Oh no. 
All right, I just gotta be brave. Fight him. Oh, why is it lagging so much? I am getting a lot of lag. I am not playing on a server or anything. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm I'm getting I don't know if it's coming through in the video. Okay, phew, killed them all at least. I got some very serious lag there. Kept freezing up, and I don't know why. Usually Minecraft doesn't really lag on my computer, even while I'm recording. Something about this pack, like the pack, really does like it takes ages uh, to load up the world. I didn't bring a lot of food with me. I didn't expect that I was gonna get beat up so bad. Um, yeah, it takes ages to load up the world. It takes ages to open the game. What are you? Are you gonna try to hurt me? You're a Thaumcraft thing, right? <gasps> what the hell is that? Um. Yeah. I'm gonna hide from that. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Friends, in the comments, uh, whoever knows what that was, tell me what that was and if that should be a scary, because that was terrifying. That was like a realistic, like photorealistic <laughs> like, ghost coming after me. I am out of food. I need to get back now. I've got two rotten flesh. I've got a few nether cores. That's fine. Okay. I need to head back. It was this way, right? I think it was this way. That was so scary. Holy crap. I did not keep careful track of which way I came from, either. Oh no, it was down here. Okay, yeah, I remember all the fire. And then down this way, right? And then we'll see... I hope I'm going the right way, folks. I did not put a waypoint on the map. Oh, see? What is this, this huge frame drops that I'm getting? I don't get them in the, in the, uh, the overworld. Ugh. I hate, I hate when people jump, jump walk in Minecraft when they're recording because it makes me really dizzy, but on the soul sand it seems to be worth doing. Okay. Let's get let's get the heck out of out of dodge here. I really hate the nether. <laughs> I don't know if I'm cut out for this mod pack. Where am I going? This way. Up. Upwards. Okay. Ooh. Almost just jumped off the edge. Okay, let's get back. Let's get back. What was that thing, though, for reals, though? For, for super serious. What the math was that? That was the scariest thing I've ever seen in Minecraft. Okay, get me out of here. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, something about this pack runs really slow on my computer, and I'm not sure why. Cause again, I usually, even with modded Minecraft, I usually don't get... A whole lot of frame drops. Like, unless I'm exploring a lot, like if I'm going all over the place, then I might. So we've got all of these in here. We need one rotten flesh. We need a devil dust, right? What else was it that we needed? And a bone shard into a mana bucket. Four buckets of liquid mana, so I guess that'll be in the world, right? What was it? I've already forgotten what it was. <laughs> Who's the third? A bone shard, there we go. Oh, my brains are all scrambled by whatever that scary thing was. So I would assume if we threw these in here, we get some we get some mistake. Yeah, we got some steak. Oh no, it's in the water. Okay, Oof, we got it. Um, we need some food. I'm gonna have to start making some proper food soon. We have culinary in here, which actually lets you make all kinds of really cool food stuff. All right. So, we need a raw beef, a bone, and a sapphire. Easy peasy. And... A sapphire, there's one. And this will give us a cow. And the thing with this now is... Okay, we don't, we don't need this to be all super, uh, super safe. We can just throw this down here. There we go. Wait, I did that backwards. Hold on, let's do this pro- If we're gonna do it. Let's do it right. There we go. Oh, these are both... Ignore me. I don't know what I'm thinking or doing or saying. Let's cast this. Now we have to, we have to kill this cow because we need uh, leather to complete the quest. 
thing is, there's no guarantee that the cow's gonna drop any leather, right? So we have to really, really hope. I'm sorry, cow. Yes! Oh, sweet! And now I got two cows. These are just actual cows. <laughs> spawn cows. So I guess these are spawn eggs, but they've been, they've been skinned to actually look like cows. That's awesome. Sweet! Mission accomplished! Awesome. Okay, what else we got? Structured spellcraft. I actually thought the next step was going to be to go on dungeon runs, but it looks like I have some, some steps to go through before I can do that. So I can make a book now. Awesome possum. Where is... I do not have enough of this, but that's fine because some has grown. We got three. Let's make a book. Paper. Come on. And leather. We got a book, and then we just have to... Do we just drop it in some mana? Drop it in some mana. Can I do it in the world? I actually prefer doing it in the world because I don't have to deal with... Uh, uh, hip. Become magic. Do it up. Be a magic book. Yes. No. Did I just not wait long enough? Oh, it's raining. Just stand back. Whoa! Holy crap! <laughs> I think that was it. Yeah, we got a magic book now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no, I stood in the water. No, no, no. Oh, crap. Okay, I'm coming back down. <laughs> if you stand in the mana, uh, sometimes it will cause you to float. I should probably put a roof over it. But anyway, uh, we got it. We got a Spellforger's Codex. Let's read this. Five steps to becoming a wizard. Items and blocks, mobs, dimensions. This is so cool. Oh, this is going to be a lot of reading to do here. All right, folks, I'm going to do a bit of reading, and then I'll be back with you. Okay, folks, I have done some serious reading. By the way, this is from the Wizardry mod, the spell book. It seems like it is very complicated making spells, and we have a long way to go in order to do all of that. Probably not going to get to all that in this episode. However, uh, this, spell, uh, this uh, mod seems to be very reminiscent of the old Ars Magica mod, in the sense that you have to make these big multi-block structures and you have to uh, design spells with different components and stuff. It's all very cool. Um, I'm going to put these cows in a pasture. I'm going to make some fences and put the cows in a pasture and start breeding up some cows. Um, and then we'll see about the next steps. There we go. Let's clear this grass out of here. And uh, there we go. We got a couple of cows. Which I can start breeding up by grabbing some uh, wheat. Assuming cows are bred in the normal way, I don't see any reason why they wouldn't be. Uh, I also need to make some food. And come here, folks. Come here. Oh, aren't you lovely? Here you go. Make some babes. Good cows. All right. Um, we've got this. I'm going to go to sleep and get rid of this rain. Take a little quick, little short little nap here. All right. Uh, we've got this, is it cuisine? Yeah, cuisine mod in here, and I don't really know much about how to use it. Um, I've got all kinds of stuff I still need to do here. We've got me creeps in here, by the way. Is it me creeps? Is that what they're? Yeah, me creeps. Atonement. I was hoping for some info on how to use cuisine, because cuisine is an interesting mod. Um, there's not, like, set, is it at, let's see, there we go. Uh, there's not, like, set recipes. You sort of prepare ingredients in different ways and then combine them. And I'm not sure exactly how all of it works. Drink row. <laughs> uh, I think I want a chopping board. Let me make a chopping board. Well, that's easy. So grab some wood. I did some I did some scary stuff today. Now I want to chill out. I want to chill out. We got some oak here. Uh, and make some food. Make some nice food. So there's that chopping board. Let me just put all this here. Um, this will be my little cooking area. I've got the mill. I've got the chopping board. And I think I need a kitchen knife. Left. I guess I should say or right click on chopping board to chop various things in various forms. Right. So how do I make this? An iron and a wooden handle. Right? I have iron, right? Don't I have iron? Pretty sure I have iron. Should have plenty of iron, actually. Yeah, here we go. Iron, and I think a wood handle is just a couple sticks. Yeah. Okay. So, if I take an ingredient, say, uh, an apple. 
take this apple and put it on a chopping board. And I can chop it up, right? And then I can pick this up, and this is apple cubes. Check this out. I'm pretty sure if you keep chopping... Yeah, now we've got sliced apple. And there's like different stages. This mod is so crazy. We can eat like mush apple or something. Or sliced as far as it'll go. Oh, there we go. It took a lot. Now we got shredded apple. Um so if I hit use for this. Okay, so we can squeeze this into apple juice, I guess. Is that all I can do with cubed apple? What about sliced apple? Squeezing. So we've got all these ingredients, but I'm pretty sure there's a way to combine them into other stuff. Like we can make a, yeah, a wok. Place it on a fire pit, dump ingredients in, and use an iron spatula on it. Okay, how do we make this? Three iron, and then a spatula is another iron. Maybe we'll stick this here. Walk on the fire pit. Oh, sweet, look at this. Ooh, fancy, look at the effects. Okay, if I take uh, apple cubes and chili cubes, And maybe some sliced apples too. Sure, why not? Uh, and then mix it around. Is it is it gonna cook into something? I really could use that manual. <laughs> Do I need another ingredient? How about now? Is this food yet? Can we eat it? <laughs> Okay. Um, dump ingredients in and use iron spatula on it. I feel like I must be missing something. What if I take some uh, wheat? Take a chili. I bet we can grind up the wheat into flour, right? Probably? I'm guessing. Anyway, I'm getting hungry. There we go. Oh, flour. And we can get uh, some... Chili powder, for sure. I don't know what exactly we're cooking here. Give me this. There we go. Put that. I can't put the flour in there. I can't put the chili powder in there either. Can I... I'm so confused. Alright. Comments. Passing it on to you. If you can tell me how to cook stuff and make it actually work so I can eat it, that would be awesome. What do I use... Probably have to make dough, right? Oh, I can make the I can make the book with this. Yes. Doing it. Doing it. Yes, culinary manual. Okay, what do we gotta do here? Oh my gosh, there's so much. There's so much to read. Okay, folks. Okay, friends. Alright, I figured it out. I figured it out. <laughs> I have read the book of cuisine. And I figured out how to do it. Uh, it turns out you can put the berries in here. You can't chop them up, but you can put them in the wok. Uh, we can put some sliced beef, some sliced apple. I think I can put some chili powder in there. Yeah, put some chili powder in there. Um, this thing needs fuel. The wok needs fuel. I wasn't giving it any fuel. And I... <laughs> um, there is a bug in this, by the way. And I'll have to let the Phoenix Lodge know if he doesn't know already. Uh, that uh, bread dough can be used as fuel, which can last for a really long time, which is a little bit, a little bit crazy. Um, that's not intentional, so put some charcoal in there. You see that fire thing goes up, and then we can, s we can just kind of mix it around. And you see, ah, oh, the ingredients are cooking, friends. The ingredients are cooking. We gotta let them cook up, and we gotta let that little wheel fill all the way up. But we don't want it to get totally red, right? So I'm not sure what the stirring actually does, but I do know that it's necessary. You gotta hit this with the spatula. Uh, it will keep cooking regardless. I think I'm gonna need some more fuel, actually. Got a piece of charcoal. Got a piece of charcoal in there. There we go. Keep on cooking. All right. So the wheels, this, this, the circle's full, and now it's getting darker. I don't want it to be undercooked. All right. Let's grab that. So when you hit it with the plate, which is made out of three quarts, then you get to name your dish. Uh, so let's go with beef and apples. Actually, sorry, spicy beef and apples. Done. And then you get this plate of food. Check this out. Sliced apple, sliced beef, wild berry, chili powder, plus one. 
There's times one, sorry. Considered a sophisticated meal. It's got eight servings left. So I've got uh, a spicy apple that I made before, which has got, this is the one that I was trying to make before. And this one, which I thought was gonna be burnt, but I misread the thing, so it's not burnt. It's just another spicy apple. This one is actually undercooked. Apparently the chili is undercooked. Uh, so this has got three servings left. It's got eight and eight. So I've got tons of food now. Check that out. That is so cool. I really like this, uh, this mod. I really wish I had access to more of the foods that are in this mod, because it seems like right now I've just got uh, the foods, basically the, the plants that I've got already are the only ones. There is one other that uh, I did see. Some of these, now I'm assuming that I will be able to, um, let's get these in here. Let's leave this, actually this book is gonna go in the other chest. Um, stick that in there, okay. Uh, while I was in the nether, I saw I did actually see a chili plant growing. Now, I assumed that it was just the rustic chili plant, but apparently it was the cuisine one. So I can actually run in here, and uh, I can grab that as long as I don't get myself killed. So I am assuming that, oh gosh, are the pigments still gonna be mad at me though? I did kill a whole bunch of them. I hope they, I hope they haven't taken it the wrong way. <laughs> I hope we're cool. Um, I'm just gonna run down here. I'm not gonna be a coward this time. Come on, Ira. Stop being stop being a coward. Being a coward is not gonna get you anywhere. Um, I'm assuming that I will be able to get some of the other cuisine plants in other dimensions. I certainly hope so. I hope they haven't just been taken out. No, that wouldn't be like the Phoenix Lodge. It's right here. This little sprout right here. This is actually um, this is a chili. This is a, a cuisine chili plant. I don't know if I have to wait for it to grow. There we go. I can get it. And this grows on... Ah, there we go. Oh my goodness. Uh, this will grow on soul sand. So let's get back home. No, nope, no, nope. we're doing this again. I need to make a better path down here. I keep coming down this way. <laughs> it's a real pain to get back. Um, so there are other dimensions that I will be visiting. There are dungeons that I'll be visiting. Um, hopefully soon, maybe in the next episode. We'll see. We'll see if we get to that. We're going to be doing some magic stuff in the next episode. Uh, but there's also the Between Lands, which is a terrifying but very cool dimension, which I did get to play with when I played with Sevtech. Uh, so maybe we'll be able to find some of the other cuisine plants there. I really hope so. I hope they haven't just been removed. Um, so, TPL, Phoenix Lodge, if you're watching this. I know you probably are. Let's just, uh... Hop. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. We'll be growing some cuisine chilies, and then we can uh, cook this up in other ways. Um, but yeah. Ah! Gah! That thing keeps appearing. I don't think it's trying to hurt me, at least not yet. It, it showed up several other times while I was uh, here before. Is it because I'm wearing this halo? What if I take the halo off? Will it maybe go away? <laughs> maybe that's the reason. I need to go breed those cows again. Um, in any case, we are super out of time, my friends. Oh, it hasn't grown. I'm sure I got some in here. Yeah. Um, we're super out of time, so we're going to have to end the episode. Next time around, in between uh, this episode and the next one, I will uh, get the blocks that I need ready to make that multi-block structure, and then we can start playing with magic next time. And hopefully soon, hopefully soon, we go, Bobby. We got a Bobby. Hello, Bobby. Uh, hopefully soon, we will start to go to some other dimensions. And I'm actually less scared of the other dimensions than I am of the Nether. <laughs> Even the dungeons. I mean, the dungeons are a bit scary, but the Nether is just. It's, I mean, it's hell, isn't it? It's literally hell. Um, and then eventually we'll get to the Between Lands, which I have not uh, experienced in this pack yet. So I'm not that afraid of it now, but we'll see if I if that changes when we get there. In any case, we're super out of time. Thank you all so much for joining me, and I'm going to see you next time. Bye! Hello, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video about Heavens of Sorcery. It's pretty fun. It'll be out eventually. Phoenix Lodge is working on it. It's exciting. There will be more videos about this soon. Let me know if you enjoyed it with a comment. These are my patrons. Some of them. The best ones. They're all the best. I love my patrons. <laughs>